Hey guys, Hash here, and I'm bringing you another Key Bindings video, this time for Star Citizen. Uh, this game's not out yet, it's just in beta, but uh, we now have the Universe module, which allows us to kind of get a sense of the game and, you know, play around a bit. So I thought it'd be a good time to input a video that would help people entering this game, since the control system is pretty complex and was very confusing for myself, so I thought this might help some people. At the very end of the video, I'm going to recap some of the things in here that might not make a lot of sense uh, for example cycle mouse move mode that might not make sense right off the bat just reading it uh, before you jump into the game and understand how it works so those things are all going to be uh, covered at the end there's a really weird bug uh, that I've been encountering where every single time I enter the game fresh it resets some of the binds it's just the nature of it right now there's not much we can do about it there's also not really an easy way to easily get one of these key bindings from me so really the easiest way is just going to be you following me through on the uh, thing here and understanding which each button is and then once you learn them you'll be able to tell when something's out of whack and then reset resetting them obviously that's going to be fixed by the time the game is released but this is what we have for now my premise for this control uh, setup which is the same with any that i do is trying to have everything as close to the left hand as possible so basically you don't have to run across the keyboard finding keys when you're in a high stress situation situations and stuff like that. I should mention that I'm using the Logitech G502 so I have uh, forward back a s sensitivity key by my thumb as well as two more buttons beside my left click so I'm using that uh, for this control setup. You might have to rebind some of the keys and I'll point those out as we go along as well. To uh, get started eject. I'm not going to be hitting this in uh, most instances but if I uh, for just a bit more drama, if you want to eject, I put it on the enter key so you know you can take your hand off the mouse and fucking slap it if you're into that kind of thing. Exit seat, left control and mouse four. Uh, this is my main interact button. It's just the a back the back button on a mouse. Um, self destruct, I put on numpad pad plus for the same reason I as I said with eject. Lights toggle uh, is C. I always use C for lights in games. These are all default. I hadn't changed anything. Look behind, you're going to want to change. I put it as Z. This is really helpful when you're doing uh, zooms and you're traveling backwards uh, and you still want to check behind you to make sure you're not going to hit anything. This is really handy, so I'd put that on Z to make it accessible. Uh, pitch in yaw or on mouse as per normal. Cycle mouse move mode, we'll cover what that means. But control C. And I'm just going to scroll through here. You guys can pause the video if you need to input some stuff. S and W, I've set to throttle max and zero. You don't really use uh, throttle up and throttle down that much. Uh, it's You're pretty much always going to be wanting going to full throttle forward or, or uh, completely cutting it. What I've done is I've uh, double bound S and W, so throttle zero and max, as well as straight forward and back. So you can use W to put small inputs. All you have to do is go into decoupled mode. Throttle up and six or six and seven up and down. Uh, that's I just wanted to put a bind just in case for some reason you had a reason to uh, have to throttle up and down. Space break is space. It tries to bring you to a standstill using your thrusters. Uh, match target velocity, left control space. These are the uh, default keys, except for the straight forward and back. Cycle IFCS safeties will go over left is left control caps and e ESP toggle is left control tab. The ones that are blank you don't need to have. Because cycle IF IFCS actually covers these two. IFCS mode shift it has to do with the way you uh, fly through the area. It's V. And then we have decoupled. So these are all the same keys as before. None, none of them change. Uh, we got roll on A and D. So that has to go in decoupled mode as well. Same with space break. Okay, so we have boost is left shift. Afterburner is level sh left shift double tap. Uh, landing system is what you'll use to uh, commence landing. Auto land is self-explanatory. So these are all left control and buttons right around your left hand. That's why they're set up like that. Landing target and quantum drive toggle are the same button as set, well as it's going to match uh, mouse missile launch and lock, which is fine. It works fine. They can be the same key. Uh, cycle mouse A mode will cover it later. That's mouse button four. That's the back button. Gimbal lock, left control E, we will cover as well later. Backslash is, this is the uh, sensitivity button close to my left thumb on my mouse. Uh, reticle focus basically is you aim at somebody with your marker, you hit this, and it'll select that target. 
So it's how you select targets that you're looking at without having to toggle through, which is what's next here, using the number keys. So I have it all as, uh, they're all in the top uh, number keys. Cycle all is one, and then left control will be going backwards in that order. So if you pass one, you can quickly uh, go back. So we have friendlies on two, cycle hostiles is three, four is nearest hostile, uh, and five is pinned. Target focus will go over. Um, it's on mouse five because it's kind of uh, handy when you're doing long range shooting. Vertical mode we will show uh, later as well. Uh, these binds get reset. These get reset all the time to mouse four and five. I just delete them because you don't need really more than two weapon groups. Uh, launch missiles already talked about. Countermeasures, self-explanatory. Your shield controls are on your numpad. If you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, that's fine. You can do this using your HUD. Flight power, so this is gonna switch your presets to where the power's going. This is the same setup I had for Elite Dangerous where you can uh, input power really quickly using just hitting left control and using WASD and then resetting with S. Radar's default. The only thing I changed in this is HUD interact mode allows you to actually interact with your HUD. So I put that as left control Z. And respawn, force respawn, I put as left control mouse forward, which is the same as get out of your seat, but it doesn't conflict because you're respawning when you're dead and you're force respawning when you're in EVA. Yeah, on foot, a lot of these keys you can't rebind. So some of them I wasn't able to change. For example, crouch, I always put as X, but they force it to be left control. So this, obviously all these controls are going to, they might evolve as the uh, game progresses. Uh, weapon stance, you can't change right now. I would probably change that. Use item, you can't change. Melee attack, you can't. I already, see, this is what I'm talking about. I switched this like five seconds ago, and it went back. So that's, again, my thumb button. So reload, I put as mouse button five. I always reload on my mouse now. It's just a habit I've gotten into. I think it works better than using R. Uh, take, you don't have to take your hands off your movement keys, which is nice. Uh, left bracket is one of the buttons close to my left click on my mouse. So this is one that you might have to rebind as well, but it's not super important to have quick access to. Uh, use, uh, you cannot rebind. This will be mouse four once I am able to. Heal, uh, again, I can't rebind uh, crouch. So these will swap to be left control and crouch will be X once we're able to do that. Magnetic boots are the uh, is the other button near my left click on my mouse r is obviously toggling which is self-explanatory and left alt will be looking around in third person take a quick look at the mouse options uh, so when you're editing keybinds it's keybinds advanced keybinds and that's where you find all your things you need to change but for mouse un as under control options really the only thing you have to deal with unless you want to invert something uh, is the master sensitivity and then tweaking each of them. So like the first person you're probably gonna want a bit different than when you're flying. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you don't have to touch the mouse sensitivity curve, leave all that on one, and make sure that you have acceleration and smoothing off. And that's pretty much all you need to worry about. All right guys, so we're now gonna show you the few things that might be a bit confusing. Uh, we'll start with cycle mouse move mode. So you can see right now that my reticle is moving around my aimer and uh, that's how I'm able to pitch and yaw. If you hit control C, what it does is it makes it so that it basically allows you to move your ship more independently. It doesn't really work well, I find. So I don't really use it at all, but uh, yeah, that's that's how you do it anyways. If you had a reason to use it, go back to the normal mode here. Cycle IFCS safeties, uh, which was left control caps. Uh, you can see in the, uh, just above my radar to the right, there's coupled G safe quick comp stab. This will toggle between which ones you want G safe and comp stab on. G safe allows you or uh, limits your turns, so you're uh, unable to black out as easy. And comp stab uh, basically averages your uh, your speeds. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically it helps you fly. And in a lot of ships is really helpful, including the Aurora, which I'm flying now. So I usually keep G safe off and comp stab on like that. Next one is toggle ESQ. ESQ is terrible from everything I've read. I don't use it. As you can see it's off. Basically it will try to estimate what inputs you're putting into your flight and help you attain a target better in some way but most people just complain that it makes it very unintuitive when you're flying so leave it off basically but if that's how you switch it is control tab. 
Okay, so the next thing is toggling your targeting reticle, which was left control mouse 5, which is forward mouse button. Basically what this allows you to do is when you have a target selected, it'll swap between the two aiming modes uh, for leading the target. Right, so you see a little circle pop up in front of them. This is one of the aiming modes where you can then aim at the circle, shoot, and you'll hit your target. When you toggle that, it gives you a cir another circle, but that one is allowing you to look ahead and just put the circle on the target and shoot it. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use. I think it's a preference mostly, but you can toggle between that with left control mouse 5. The next thing is cycle mouse aim mode. Uh, cycle mouse aim mode when you use gimbaled weapons. Uh, which right now seem to be, yeah, they were for some reason gimbal locked. It doesn't matter because I don't have any, I only have fixed weapons. Which basically means my weapons shoot at the crosshairs in the center there. But this little circle that moves around will allow you to shoot gimbaled weapons at that. When you lock gimbals, which is control E, it makes it so that all your gimbaled weapons are facing directly forward into that center. Mouse aim mode uh, allows you to Basically, while you're dragging your gimbal aimer around, instead of making you fly, it's just going to let you aim it, which basically allows you to do very uh, easy and fine adjustments to your aim. So, if you see, while I'm flying here, I can toggle mouse aim up, and if I had gimbal weapons, I could then shoot the target without it altering my, uh, my, my flight. Target focus, uh, we'll do next. All right, the next thing is target focus, uh, which is mouse 5. Target focus does this. It basically continues to uh, zoom your view into the target, keeping it centered. And when you, it changes your aimer reticle, basically so that in conjunction to the target, see if I go above the target, I go up. If I go below the target, I go down, if I go left, right. It basically changes from being based around the center of your, your uh, aiming to around the target. So it's just another way to you know, help you a bit, I guess, with aiming. Alright, so the last thing we're talking about is HUD Interact Mode. Left control Z brings up your uh, cursor here. And you can use that to interact with your HUD, as you would expect. So you can turn off your weapons. Uh, you can manage your power by dragging this around. And stuff like that, shields. All those things you can do with this and grouping of your weapons. So that's, again, left control and Z. Alright guys, that pretty much covers everything. Uh, I hope this video helps some of you uh, find a good control scheme that you'd like to use. There will be regular updates to this as the uh, different keys that are actually locked right now uh, get unlocked. And I will do those videos as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Uh, please do check me out on Twitch uh, at Hash439. And we'll see you guys somewhere out here in the universe. Ciao.